Hi, my name is Bob Greenier and I'm a volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. Okay, so over the last week or so I've had some symptoms which are potentially in line with those of SARS-CoV-2 or COVID-19 and I've been tracking those quite closely and thanks to a suggestion by David Davis and a donation I have been able to buy this pulse oximeter uh, uh, S1 and uh, with the point purpose of testing my blood oxygen levels and the reason you would want to do this is if it falls below a certain level and apparently that level is around about uh, 96 95 so if it goes below 95 uh, you want to maybe seek medical attention. So it's in many languages. Uh, this is available online for around about $40 or something similar to this. I purchased this from a local disability uh, shop here today and it cost about $50 in a retail shop. And so I'll just show you how it works. Uh, essentially it was in this little box. I've taken it out so that you don't have to watch that. Little device like this. Uh, it didn't come with uh, AA batteries, but some of the ones you buy online do, but anyway, so I threw a few AA batteries in there, and then it has no switch or whatever, it kind of turns on when you uh, put your finger in there, so I'm going to turn, oh, hold on, I've just popped the back, so uh, make sure you put the back on properly, <laughs> anyway, so you open it up and you put your finger in there, and it has a, an infrared sen uh, sort of beam sensor and a light sensor there. And the combination of these things, it's able to measure your uh, beats per minute, your heart rate, and the uh, SpO2 percent, which is the oxygen saturation in your blood. I will give you a link in the description of this video uh, to give... Uh, uh, some, an overview of why this is important but essentially if you your uh, alveoli in your lungs are damaged because uh, the virus has uh, sort of replicated in them and broken them and maybe it's got some um, infection in there from some uh, bacteria that may be in the environment already in your lungs uh, but they take the opportunity to uh, infect and spread in the uh, alveoli you can then get pneumonia where sort of uh, fluid floods the uh, alveoli and then you can't do your gaseous transfer the oxygen into your blood and the co2 out and this causes your blood oxygen level to drop so i've been suffering with a little bit of a uh, difficulty breathing after two days ago when I was uh, had a little bit of coughing and also some pain in the chest and uh, so just to be sure I um, went and got this oxygen meter and uh, it's as you can see it's pretty instantaneous I have a blood pressure sorry a, a blood oxygen level of 97 there and anywhere between 96 and 100 is good uh, you know and if it's uh, under 95 or uh, under 96 uh, it says on this website that you should probably uh, seek medical attention so I thank the uh, person who made the donation uh, and the uh, David Davis for suggesting this uh, this has certainly um, given me uh, some calm vibes and I will check myself on a regular basis and what I'm also going to do, there are the apartment block that I live in, it's got uh, 31 apartments and I guess there's a, a, around about 100 people that live there, quite a few elderly people. And so what I'm going to do is up on the apartment notice board, I'm going to say, look, you know, if you want to get your, if you feel you've got a problem and you want to get your oxygen level, uh, uh, you know, not, not certified, but uh, at least a, a sort of... Uh, a quick look-see um, it's available for other people to use now when I went to a pharmacy they didn't have any and they looked at their online supplier they did have a, a, a an option to purchase it but they had none in stock and in fact some suppliers online are out of stock so if you are going to purchase one of these uh, please consider making it available to your wider community so that uh, other people can have an opportunity to put their minds at rest as this has done uh, at the moment for me. It's quite nice actually, is if you turn it around in different orientations, if I can do this, it, it actually shows the data in a different way. So it's actually got a uh, orientation sensor in there as well. So it does it this way and it does it sort of this way. Uh, shows the, the beats in a slightly different way. 
But that's it, so thank you very much. This is a quick look at uh, the Pulse Oximeter S1. Uh, uh, it's a little uh, device you put onto your thumb, as you, or, sorry, your finger rather, <laughs> and um, uh, it, it gives you your oxygen level and your beats per minute. Thank you very much for your time. I'll see you in the next video.